Nothing says spring food to me quite like asparagus, peas, and lemons. So today we're putting all three of those together into a light and refreshing spring orzo salad. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassidy. I'm a registered dietitian and I share easy vegetarian recipes here every single week. Hit subscribe to never miss a new video. So the first thing we're going to want to do is head over to the oven and preheat it to 425 degrees. We're also going to bring a large pot of water to a boil so that we can boil the orzo. And the orzo will cook while we prep the rest of the ingredients. This is a great way to store your asparagus in the fridge so that it doesn't wilt and you can just cover it with a plastic bag. So I've already removed some of this because I cut it off to store it in the water. But you really wanna make sure to get rid of those woody stems. So that'll be about the bottom one to two inches. And then we'll slice this into one inch pieces. All right, so I'm just gonna spread these out on this sheet pan. You can add parchment paper for easy cleanup if you prefer. And I'll add just a tiny little bit of oil, just enough to coat, and a sprinkle of salt. All right, and we're just gonna toss all this together until each piece of asparagus is coated in that oil. And we're gonna roast this at 425 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Next up, we're gonna make the lemon vinaigrette, which is so good. I think I've made it like, probably 10 times in the past couple of months. So you'll see this vinaigrette throughout several other of my recipes, and I'll leave the link down below for the blog post that's just all about this wonderful, light, bright, lemony vinaigrette. So first up, we need lemons, fresh lemons, not the lemon juice from a bottle. Trust me, it's worth it. This is a pretty big lemon, so it'll probably make about three to four tablespoons of juice, which is just what we want. I love mixing up in these little jars because you can shake in them. So we'll go ahead and add that lemon juice. This is a quarter cup of extra virgin olive oil that I'm adding. I'm also adding about a half teaspoon of salt, a little bit of black pepper, a squeeze of honey, and of course you could use agave, date syrup, any other liquid sweetener, even maple syrup. Now one medium lemon is usually gonna have about tablespoon of zest but this is a pretty big one so we're gonna start with about half of that lemon I'm just going to thinly slice this shallot now if you don't want big shallot pieces in your salad you can go ahead and dice it up a little finer here and I'll put this lid on really tight <laughs> I'm gonna shake it. <laughs> I totally recommend just making this vinaigrette and keeping it in the fridge. It'll last for like a week. All you have to do is shake it up before using it and it's perfect on salads, pasta salads. I love it. <laughs> Once this is all shaken up, you can set it aside for about 10 minutes. That will tenderize the shallot, which takes away some of its strongest flavors. It also softens it and it puts that shallot flavor throughout the vinaigrette as well. Lots of good stuff happening here. It's looking really good. So it's definitely browned on some sides, but not all sides. So what we're going to do is add these sliced almonds. That way they can toast for just two to three minutes. Make sure to keep an eye on them because they will toast super quickly. As you can see, the almonds are golden brown. You don't want to leave them in there longer than two or three minutes or they will start to burn. At this point, the orzo is ready, so I'm just going to toss it with some olive oil. This makes it so that it's less likely to stick to itself. And then I'll toss it with some thawed frozen peas. And we just have one more thing to prep. It is this basil. So you just want about roughly a quarter cup of sliced basil. I do this at the very last minute, especially if I'm going to serve it to someone because this basil will wilt really quickly and it'll bruise a little. So it's best if we do this right before adding it to the salad. Gather your bowls and it's time to toss everything together. First up, let's add the orzo and pea mixture. Give this vinaigrette a shake. And we're going to toss this together. This way it's the orzo that gets most of the flavor. And I'll just toss all of that together. Ooh gonna be good. Next up, the asparagus and almonds. 
and I'm doing some shredded Parmesan cheese here, about a quarter cup. And last but not least, the basil. So we'll just toss all that together. Would not be a lemon salad without a bunch of lemon zest, which adds so much flavor, a lot more flavor than just the lemon juice, so definitely do not skip it. And top 10 kitchen ingredient, freshly ground black pepper. Toss it together. There you have it. Come on. That tastes amazing. And I'm sorry to say that there's no cats joining us this week. They're not roaming around the kitchen and they're not jumping on my counters, which I guess I'm thankful for. If you wanna make this a main dish, it's really easy. You can just add a can of chickpeas or white beans, or you can eat this with some vegetarian chicken nuggets, which is definitely what I've done for lunch several days in the past few weeks. <laughs> I'll leave the full recipe down below, but if you have any questions, let me know down below. I also have a full blog post on my blog. That's linked in the description. Don't forget to hit subscribe because I share new recipes every week on my channel. I'd love if you leave a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any recipe requests, definitely let me know down below. And thanks as always for watching.